the a national service boss in the Ashanti region, he decided to storm the Minsha Hospital. Earlier on, I said Konfanochi. My mind was running ahead of my thoughts. On behalf of a daughter, and decided to insult a very distinguished nurse. And the Nurses Midwifery Association, they decided not to take it kindly at all. They're calling for his head, investigations to be undertaken, and then... He has to be sacked. I don't know whether that call is justified, but just listen to that audio. And then when we come back, we'll ask our guest what they think about the action of that gentleman. Learn to insult him. Please, I respect you. What, what, what insult was I value you today? I'm saying that. Yeah. Why not? I'm not sleeping. She is a doctor. This is from a nurse. And so what? That is me. Oh, yes, yes. Are you, are you, are you an equal partner? What kind of behavior is that? That's why I asked you, what fuck did you do in secondary school? I did science. Frustrated. I was very frustrated. I, was I could have brought my daughter from to I mean, uh, uh, November to resort to you. What kind of behavior is that? Mention Haya Odiana. Mention Haya Odiana. Who brought them? Mention Haya Odiana. It will get up to the patient. It will get up to the patient. Has she run away from the patient? Has she run away from the patient? Has she run away from the patient? What kind of behavior is that? I don't know if you have to do it. I don't know if you have to do it. I don't know if you have to do it. I don't know if you have to do it. And you talk to that woman routinely on phone. What kind of behavior is that? You said her what she told you. And you, what she you have executed. You have executed. We have executed your behavior. You told me I envy her. Yes. For what reason? Because you are envy her. For what reason? I envy her for what reason? Am I not a man? Who am I? 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 Learn to be remorseful. We are getting a tune. Who are you? 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 Sit down. I want to sit down. I want to listen to you. I don't know, yes, sir. You speak it to people with nothing. I mean, what do you want to do, sir? Stupid idiot. Kevin. I'm very happy you are here. And since then, he has issued an apology on social media. That's not the apology beside the, the picture there. But, Mr. Glover, this man, people are saying he should be sacked. What do you think? Roland. You dear, you always speak your mind. That's why I like you. Uh, I think that the action of the... In fact, yesterday when I happened to get a copy of the audio, Thompson, I was asking myself so many questions that why didn't he take his time? Even if your, fa your daughter has called you about something that is happening in the Mesia Hospital, the first place of call should have been the administrator of the hospital. His action was totally needless. It was uncalled for. He has brought this into himself. You are the director of a whole institution of state in the whole of the Ashanti region where young people are looking for you for inspiration. Young people are looking at you for leadership. When they even have problems, they will knock at your door and see how best you can assist them to deal with their problems. Roland, the gentleman should have thanked the nurse for drawing the attention of the daughter. She's a house, 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 house man. Mm. She just finished medical school mm. and she's gone to the hospital to do housemanship, practical training. So according to the story, when you, you, you read the story, 
the daughter who happens to be doing a housemanship prescribed a drug that is meant for an adult to a baby. So over here, the nurse you rather should be appreciated. The, the doctor, the daughter nurse should thank the nurse for drawing her attention for, for saving a life. Imagining that the medication they've prescribed for you for, for a baby is meant for an adult. But he didn't take his time. Straight, he's been, he's been, he's been already incensed. Uh, the daughter has been, has been attacked verbally. So let me go and deal Mr. with Mr. the Bro, nurse. People are saying that in this administration, all the public office holders, mm. this is their behavior. It is not all of them, respectfully. It is not all of them. That they are arrogant. Social please, media. Please, please, please. You can't conclude. Stop this, your mischief. It's not helping you. Your image is huge, like TV3, a, a brand. So stop that. Stop attacking the mess. No, 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 I'll attack you. Because your line of asking questions is so mischievous. It is not everybody. People are brought up by their own, by own training. So this is not a government. Me sitting here or you or Thompson sitting here, you think oh, we can behave the way he's doing? By my training and my profession as an HR and industrial relations consultant, I will not behave like this. So what he has done, unfortunately, he has shot his own food. Yesterday, I was watching Alfred. And I listened to the General Secretary of the Ghana Resident Nurse Association, a gentleman by name Tinkrai. Uh, and you could see the venom in his... In, at a certain point, he was even using certain words. And Alfred said, look, please, calm down. Please, redraw that. Because he's not happy. The nurses and doctors, they work in unison. They work as partners. They work side by side. You need the nurse, the nurse will need the doctor, so that what treat the patient. So for you to expose yourself to this, calling the nurse all kinds of names, insulting and all that, is not the best. Then the administrator of the Mensha Hospital also said they heard his um, apologies on social media. That is not the best platform to go. They want him to come, just like he walked into the facility to verbally assault the nurse. He should come in person to come and render that apology. And I'm happy the mother institution, the National Service Headquarters, has also instituted an investigation into his conduct. And I think that um, after the investigation, a decision can be made. But what he has done is totally needless and, and on, on, on I, was, I was speaking to um, uh, somebody who is an industrial relations consultant, just like uh, Mr. Taito, and he was saying that if teachers could redraw their services because of the appointment of a director general, because they think he, they, they don't deem him fit to occupy, nurses should also redraw their services as part of uh, <coughs> solidarity, yes. countrywide. Yes, Roland, it is refreshing to hear Honorable Titus Global strongly condemn the conduct of this man when, in fact, just a few minutes ago, he was here, sitting here, calling me a small boy you know, and interjecting me with such, you know, you know, in a more condescending manner, similar, quite similar to what this man displayed. I'm, I'm sure you no, saw no, it. It's out of place. Uh, it, now you it were punching is. government, so when yes. you punch government, yes. you don't expect me to sit back. Yes. So, so in equal, return, you call me a small boy. In, you call me You were you you attacking so, government, so, so you, you don't expect me to So like quiet. you point out, I think this is, this is the modus operandi of government officials these days, you know, that, you know, they've assumed so much reverence that they, they feel so untouchable at every opportunity that they get, you know, to demonstrate, you know, where power lies. And uh, Mr. Glover didn't miss that opportunity to demonstrate that here this morning. But Roland, I think that this story, I have followed it a bit, and if you critically look at it, I think the stories that we've been told are just one-sided, um, especially on the particular incident, what actually happened that, that led to this exchange between the hospital and this director general. I think that if you take away the misconduct of this NSS boss, um, there's a critical issue in the administration of health facilities that must be looked at. Or issues of medical negligence, you know, issues of nurse-doctor relationships, and what have you. Yeah, I think this, 
you know, incident rather opens a can of worm that we must take the opportunity and look into all these things and implement the necessary reforms. I've had house masters complain bitterly about how they are treated in hospitals by, um, by these so-called, by, by, by their bosses who are also doctors and nurses who think they are not doctors and what have you. And so um, if you take away the conduct, the misconduct of the, of the father who stormed the hospital, which was a matter that bothers on the conduct of his daughter in the facility, which is purely an, an administrative professional you know, uh, activity, which he shouldn't have attempted to interfere. If you take that out, if you look the, at the issue critically, it's an issue of doctor-nurse relationship between housemasters and, and, and nurses, issues of hospital administrators and housemasters, it borders, a, it opens a whole can of worm that we must look at and whether indeed the human relations or the organizational culture that exists in these hospitals really augurs, augurs well for proper and quality healthcare delivery. Because it, at the end of the day, it's about delivery of what? Of quality healthcare. And if these things are not done properly, they have an impact on the general delivery of the hospital. But Roland, there's one thing that I need to point out quickly. Just give me a minute on, on, on the budget. I need to point it out quickly. Just a minute. Roland, you, you realize when we're talking about the, the revenue measures mm. that Honorable Glover asked that um, we should support government in those revenue measures. Roland, there is a problem in the power sector, which, if we don't take care, can lead us into another doom so. Government is now on the heels of the IPPs, which unnecessary tax assessments. Now, as part of the tariffs DRA have sent through PRC to these uh, IPPs, they have embedded a corporate income tax, which they say the IPP should cough out from the date of incorporation. Now, what this is going to do is that it's going to add up to the operational Why expenditure the IPP of, of the IPPs. told you to come and no, say no, we no, need it's, revenue. It's, no, it's part, it's part of the... I know, I know. It's I part know. Of but the, we need revenue. Of, of, of the budget. It's part of the revenue measure. No, Mr. but... Mr. Thompson, but, this one. But, well, if you need revenue, your target is not... Shouldn't Mr. be your Thompson, essential service providers. Your uh, target shouldn't Mr. be... Thompson. Essential uh, service executive providers. executive director for Roland. SEPA. Uh, your target shouldn't be your essential service providers. Because if you if you throw this country into doom, so... One second. It will further hurt the economy. Already you, government, you are owing, owing the IPPs to a tune of $1 Don't billion. You, dollars. you have not paid. Now you are, you are running after yeah, the IPPs you call him with boy. needless tax assessment. Um, young man, um, oh, it's small um, boy. Thompson said, I call you a young, young man uh, and I've been attacking you. Uh, if that is how you saw it, I apologize. Okay. But the point is that you started it. You threw the first sound attacking government. You, you don't attack expect, your person. Calm down, calm down. I speak for government. So you don't expect me to sit there to attack the president <laughs> and allow you to go scot-free. So please, the Daniel, next time, don't go that me way. Me, Kwate, Titus Glover, a former deputy minister of transport, and then also a former member of parliament for Tema East. Thank you for passing through the show this morning. We Two gentlemen. I'm grateful. We've had a great show. But uh, your mischief and, is ongoing. And uh, they're just questions. Your mischief just is questions. Very So um, I'll take away very this morning. Very done. Ghana's... Ghana's quest announced by the vice president, Dr. Maudu Baumia, to go and exchange gold for oil. Fact, According to Kojon Safwa Poku, who is vying for the presidential <laughs> candidacy of the governing New Patriotic Party, is going to hit rock bottom or the rocks. But I like and then also, the Otunfuo has urged government Bonnet. to make sure that its projects that are so-called needless should be sacrificed for more important ones so that we can save revenue and develop. And this fantasy project has been agreed by the Honorable Titus Glover. That's a good one. And Mensa Thompson, thank you for passing through as thank well. We're taking a break. When we come back, we'll have more right here on the show. There you go.